Welcome back to your Pilates Reformer workout. Today we're gonna to get into a standing series with a lot of fun variations. Now, if you are watching this on my main channel, this will be an express shorter version of this sequence. If you would like an extended full length workout, join me at my membership. I will include the link somewhere up here or down below in the description. Today we'll start off with a little bit of quick footwork just to warm up. We will do three heavies and one light spring. Headrest will be up. Meet me lying down on the reformer, let's get started. And of course, if you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe. All right, warming up. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's lie, oh, let's lie down with our backs on the reformer. Arms down by your sides. We'll do hip distance apart, arches on the bar. Toes just gently hugging the bar, curled over like you're a parakeet on a perch. Bring your spine into a neutral position. So what does that mean? We want to bring the pubic bone and the hip bones roughly on the same horizontal plane. We're going to take a deep breath in. Exhale, extend the legs long. We're going to bend the knees, bring it in slowly with control. So this neutral spine we're trying to maintain. I want to see if we can find a little natural curve in the low back. And it doesn't have to be big. It doesn't necessarily need to be small. It's probably going to be a little different for you based on your specific anatomy. But we want to have sort of an even level pelvis. We want to feel a sensation of the ribs connecting to the hips and to the pubic bone, like they're pulling together. If you're very arched, those are going to get out of whack. If you're curled under, your back is going to be fully flat to the mat. So somewhere in between with that sense of connection between the rib cage and the pelvis and the core automatically kind of kicking on. Now that I'm finished speaking, let's do two more. And last one. Good. We'll keep the footwork a little brief today. Balls of the feet to the foot bar, legs all the way together, heels lifted in that releve or high heel position. Big breath in, exhale, press out. We lower under, three, two, one. Lift, three, two, one. Bend the knees, bring it in. Ribs pulling toward your hip bones, press out. Straight knees, lower under, three, two, one. Lift, three, two, one. Bring it in, two more like this. Lots of control all the way down, all the way up. Press it out. Lower down all the way and lift. Bend your knees, bring it in. Now we press out, we hold. Let's lower and lift for 10. Keeping a nice flow here, nine, as we warm up. Breathing through it. Last six on your own count. Keeping control, not popping up or down. Final two. And one. Lift the heels, bend the knees, bring it home. We'll get into the stretch in just a sec. Switch to Pilates V, heels on, heels lifted, toes on the bar. Knees about as wide as your reformer. Maintaining that neutral spine, we press out, legs extend and inner thighs zip together. Heels stay anchored together as we bend the knees, bring it in. Pelvic floor lifts, abs engage as we press out. Use your exhale. Get that free core work. And for the uninitiated, every time we exhale, the pelvic floor naturally lifts. And if you use a breath that's almost like blowing up birthday candles or blowing up a soft balloon, we automatically get that deep core layer kicked on. So for me, just paying attention to our breath pattern and exhaling on the hard part of an exercise, we get to capture or claim that free core work that comes with the breath. Last one. Good. Let's press out again one more time. Knees straight. We're going to lower and lift the heels in this turned out position. We go for 10. Nine. Try to keep the legs extended. Can be tempting to kind of soften the knees, keep them straight. Six more. We stretch after this. Last four. Three, two, and one. Lift the heels, bend the knees, bring it home. Walk your feet as wide as the foot bar. Rock your knees side to side. Just let your top hip fall over. Feel that release in your low back. Good. 
Let's bring the heels to the outer corners. We're going to now bring the knees and hips into internal rotation. And this is a theme that will come back later in class. We will bring the knees inward, wrap through the hips in, like we're in a knock kneed position. We press out, legs extend. We wanna find a full extension through the knees. Knees can separate at the top. As we bend, we bring them back in. So we're not rotating in to ceiling as we go up. We wanna keep that sense of internal rotation so the knees are pointing in, even as we find that full extension. So finding separation is okay. We wanna to try to avoid sending the knees far outward or up to the ceiling as we extend the legs. It may take some time to get the coordination, and that's okay, but we, the goal is we wanna feel sort of the hips on the outside of the center, <laughs> the outside edge of the hips, I should say, on the very front working here to kind of build steady, stable hips. Last one. Good. Balls of the feet to the foot bar, back to center, heels lifted. We press out and we go for a calf stretch. Bend one leg, extend the other. Big breath in. Exhale, release. Straighten out the leg. Let's go right to the other side. Other leg, presses under. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Straighten out both legs. Bend the knees, come all the way in. Place your right calf on the foot bar. Very quick calf massage. We rock side to side. Been trying to do more of these lately. Very, very good for circulation in my personal experience. Good, now when you're ready, other side. Opposite calf goes onto the foot bar. Taking your last five seconds. Nice. When you're ready, we'll roll up to sitting and we'll get ready to move on. Continuing our warm up, I've placed on a heavy spring and a light spring for hands and straps. We are not standing yet, but I do feel it's important for us to connect the core to the lats and back. So we're gonna just spend a little bit of time on our backs and then we'll move to kneeling and then standing. So once you have your heavy and light spring in place, grab both of the straps, lie down, place one strap in either hand. And of course, if it's more comfortable for you to use handles, feel free to do that at any time. So let's reach our arms up to the ceiling. Give yourself a little room if you need it. Legs come up to tabletop. Do your best to get knees right over hips, shins parallel to the ceiling. We take a big breath in. Exhale, palms come down next to your hips. Inhale, bring them back up. Press down and rise back up. Now, as always, if you'd like to incorporate one leg or both legs as the hands press down, you're also welcome to keep the legs extended out for a more advanced option. And you're also welcome to curl up with the head, neck, and chest for a more basic or warm-up version. S stay in tabletop with the head down or pick whatever you like. Really, it's up to you. Nice. Now again, to warm up the lats a little more, flip your palms to face inward. We're going to take our snow angels or the T. Press the palms next to your hips all the way out and back in. I'm just lovingly grazing the wall on my left side here, which is funny. And if you've been with me before, you may notice I'm in a different studio space today. I have access to this lovely airy room for several weeks this summer. So you'll see me in here a little bit more. The pink will come back later, not to fear. Let's take one more. And last one. Good, bring your arms back up over your shoulders. And again, continuing the warm up nice and simple. Arms down by your sides, anchor your elbows next to your rib cage. We bend and extend the arms for a tricep extension. You can have the elbows hovered as I am now, or you can anchor them down to the mat if you so prefer. Whichever one you choose, we will take another six. Last five, four more. Three, final two, and one. Arms come up, rest your feet down for a moment. 
Walk your feet as wide as your machine. Rock your knees side to side. You can look in the opposite direction. Let the knees go in if you like. And we will move on to some more challenging things. All right, we are warmer. Now let's start to transition to, into some kneeling work and later into standing. So I am still on a heavy and a light spring. Kneeling down, use a knee pad if you need to. Toes curled under up against the shoulder blocks behind you. Let's bring the hips forward. We're gonna go to our down stretch. Now typically this comes second in the classical order. I like to do it first because I prefer to kneel rather than go straight into long stretch, which is your long plank. We're gonna think hips forward and keep them forward as you go back and forth. The sensation is core is supporting you as you press the carriage away and core supports you as you come all the way in and control the springs. So we're gonna really focus on keeping those abdominals lifted. Paint your gaze down the wall in front of you while still keeping your eyes high. We do not want to crane our neck so our eyes are all the way up to the ceiling. We wanna think long back of the neck, but we also don't wanna bring the gaze down to the floor as we come back because that automatically tends to do this for a lot of people. We don't wanna stick the butt out, right? Hips need to stay forward. Think really proud, wide chest, rib cage oriented down toward your hips, not flared out or up. Last one. Bring it up. Now we move into knee stretches. I will switch to two heavy springs for this. It is more comfortable on a heavy and a light spring for you. You may choose that as well. So we're gonna go for two sets of these. I'm gonna warn you straight away. I'll give you a variation on the second one. So in this position, we're gonna round back, folding the hips down toward the heels. We push the knees out and bring them back in. Using your core to control, I'm trying to fire up the low abs. So again, I often talk about that feeling of the industrial strength rubber band pulling the hips together. We want that feeling now. Good, we're gonna go for another six. Knees can come further in past your hips. You're welcome to keep the spine really rounded or focus on flaring the sit bones back in more of a lengthened back position. Feel it out, feel what feels best to you. We're gonna take our last one here. Bring the knees all the way in. Close the stopper around the spine and lengthen out the back. Good. Now, we're gonna take another variation of that. If that felt pretty doable for you, we will move into knee stretches, knees off. If that felt like enough challenge, keep the knees down for this one. Hands back to the foot bar. The toes still curled under and really anchoring us here. We're gonna lift the knees, keep them as low to the mat as you can, press away. Knees come under and press out. Flare your sit bones back, under and out. Six more. This is five, four, and keep the knees down if this is too much. Three, last two, back of the neck long, and one. Bend your knees, bring it all the way in, and rest. Good. Knees come down, close the stopper with control, reach your arms long over the foot bar. Stretch out here. Big breath in. Good. When you're ready, roll on up to sitting. We're going to make sure the headrest is in its upright position. Hooray, it is. If you have a sticky pad, place it along the headrest for your toes to rest on. If you have grip socks, you might not need it. We will place the toes curled under on the sticky pad. If that feels unstable to you, you can always put the feet up against the shoulder blocks once again. This is our long stretch. We will flip back to a heavy spring and a light spring. Hands to the foot bar once again. Toes curled under. Once again, up against your headrest or your foot shoulder blocks behind you. We start with shoulders over wrists. Make sure your thumbs are pointed forward with the rest of your fingers. Bring yourself to a nice diagonal line plank. Straight line from knees to hips to shoulders. We press the carriage away. Send your head on an upward diagonal as you bring your shoulders just about to right back over your wrists. Press out. Exhale to bring it in. Squeeze your inner thighs and bring it in. And if your toes are on the headrest, you're welcome to experiment with having the feet 
turned out or parallel. See what that does for you. Let's take two more. Had lifts on that upward diagonal, while still keeping the back of the neck long. And bring it in, good. Close the stopper, slowly with control. <laughs> Let's bring the feet down to the mat right next to the shoulder blocks. Now, against my better judgment, we're gonna do up stretch. So you're gonna come up onto the balls of your feet. Your heels will be up against the shoulder blocks. Shoulders roughly over the wrists. Make sure your elbows aren't hyperextended forward. We're going to roll back, bring the hips over the heels, press the carriage out, lengthen the spine as much as you can. Use that long stretch that we just used to bring the carriage all the way in. Now, fold at the hips, look at your ankles, send your weight back, hips over heels for that stretch. Press the carriage all the way back. Feel your head come on an upward diagonal. Plank all the way in as much as you can. Close the stopper, fold back. Two more like this. Press back, carriage forward. Round through the spine, fold at the hips, send your hips back over heels, last one. Press back, head comes on that upward diagonal. Round the spine, fold at the hips, come all the way back. Now, let's see if we can reverse it. Round through the spine, flatten out to your plank, press out. Fold at the hips, bring the carriage in. Round through the spine, find your plank, press out. Fold at the hips, look at your toes, bring the carriage in. Round up, plank. Press out, fold at the hips, keep the pressure on the foot bar. Carriage comes inward, round through the spine. Press out, find your plank, bend the knees, bring the carriage in. All right, for this last bit of hard work, I have switched on to an extra light spring or a yellow spring. You could also use a light spring. Grab both straps into one hand. Turn around to face the foot bar. And yes, I've placed the foot bar back up. I'm gonna place the left leg forward. Headrest is down for this. So kneeling in the lunge position, hips are square, both face forward. Palms facing forward. We press straight arms up and lower down. So you may tell as you get moving, that you really need to stabilize through your core with this light spring loaded on and your body moving the carriage back and forth. It's a little bit of a different challenge than having to just yank on the springs and bring yourself forward, no? Good. Next time we press forward, we're gonna hold the arms there. We bend the elbows in tight to the body. Exhale, extend forward. Bend the elbows in, serve a tray. Exhale, extend forward. Three more. If you feel yourself falling over or bobbling, fight for it. Last two. And one. Press forward, hold. Arms go straight down. Close the stopper. You may have to grab both straps into one hand to do so. Bring both straps to your left hand. Switch sides when you're able to. We're gonna bring the right foot forward. Left knee under your left hip. Left shin on the headrest behind you. Arms down by your sides. We repeat everything on the other side. Square up the hips. Fingertips up to your shoulders. Lower down. Use your abs to support you. Press up and lower down. Three more. Last two. And last one. Hold, serve a tray, elbows come in toward your ribs. Exhale, extend. Elbows come in toward your ribs. Exhale, extend. Three more. 
last two. And the last one. Good. Close the stopper, place your straps down. We will get ready to move on. Next, we're gonna take that all standing. I'll keep it consistent. I'm gonna move my left foot forward, but this time I'm gonna curl my right toes under on that shoulder block behind you, behind me. If you're taller, maybe a little bit of a challenge to get fully situated in the position that we wanna be here, but do your best. Here, instead of just keeping the knee down behind me, I'm going to lift the legs, straighten the arms, lower down, find a lunge. So balance is really crucial here. Press the arms up, straighten the legs, resist the springs as we come back in. If you've done teaser on long box before, it's a similar sensation of having to control the carriage in against not a lot of resistance. Last one as we go up, press the carriage out as we push the hands forward. Keep the legs high, bend and extend the elbows. Three more. Last two. And one. Now we bend elbows, bend knees at the same time. Don't use momentum, use your control, use your resistance in the straps, use your core, use your legs. We only do four of these. Whoa, there we go. It's like my body heard me. <laughs> I was like, yay, yeah, that's right, you're done. Bend your knees, bring it in slowly with control. Place your knee down, we'll move to the other side. I'm gonna nap, I'm gonna sleep really well tonight. Let's flip to the other side. Left toe curls under, goes up against the headrest behind you. If you need to steady yourself, take a moment to do so. It's more important to be safe than to transition really quickly in this one. So when you're ready, arms down by your sides. I'm getting, I'm getting ready. We're gonna, pre we're gonna press into the straps, lift your leg up, lift your legs up, excuse me. Lunge down, knee hovers above the mat. Press up. Bend the knees, lower down. Keep this pace as slowly as you need to, to control it. Last two. And one. Now, serve a tray, bend the elbows, keep the legs straight, extend. Four more. Last three. Final two. Last one. Now we bend the legs as we draw the arms back. Press everything straight. Like straighten, arms straighten. Knees bend, arms bend. Bring it in with control. Two more. Last one. And close the stopper. Take both straps into one hand. Bring one hand down to the mat. Kneel on down. Let's move on. All right, but I'm sweating buckets. So <laughs> let's finish up with a nice, solid stretch. Headrest will go up. I've got one heavy spring on this one. You could do a heavy and a light if you want a little more support or uh, feedback in your stretch. We will go for front splits. So I've got my left toes curled under up against the shoulder blocks, left knee down, right foot on the foot bar. I'm gonna start with my hips really forward, hands on the bar. Chest lifted, just like in that down stretch. We want really wide collarbone. I'm gonna send my knee back and forward. The spine can curl under ever so slightly. Good. Now I'm gonna keep hold of the bar, extend my leg long behind me. Once I'm there, 
I'm gonna pulse my knee forward and back. Try to keep your hips fully square. So if you feel that that right hip is hitching forward, hitching forward, bring it back. Whenever you're ready, send your left leg fully back. Keep hold of the bar if you like. Take your front split. Bend your knee. Draw the carriage in. Use your abs to help control. Other side, right foot down, left foot on the foot bar, hips forward, chest really wide. We just send the right knee back, keeping that, keeping that really open posture. When you're ready, we're gonna hinge back on the hips. Send your left leg as straight as you can. Square off the hips again so that, that left hip is not hitching, hitching forward. And we're gonna pulse the right knee back and forth. As so many times as you feel as helpful to you. Feel that stretch in the back of the left leg. Whenever you like, send the carriage further back, straighten out that right leg as best as you can. Go for your really deep front split here. You might feel a stretch, a deeper stretch through the back of the left leg, as well as through the right hip, the front of the hip specifically. Bend your knee, draw the carriage in. Gotta bring both feet down to the mat. You did it. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> that skin in my teeth. Please subscribe and sign up for my membership. You can find the extended version of this if you want me to kick your ass a little longer. <laughs> if you want a little more of this. I offer multiple exclusive videos every month and weekly workout plans. There is much more coming. Thank you so much to my members for keeping the lights on around here. We're almost 200, which is just wild. An extra special thank you to the folks who've been with me for six months or more, including the gold star list, the people who've been with me for over a year, which is just amazing. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Have a wonderful day. I'm gonna go take a shower. <laughs> Goodbye.